Okay. All good. Start a new game. Interact, left click, flashlight F, pause, escape. Okay. Back in my apartment. Wow. Can check my phone before I go to sleep. As we all do. I am very tall. I'm gonna like bang my head into the fucking lamp. Okay. I'm really tall. Oh, click to interact. No. Why does this feel like PT to me? Okay. It's August. Clean apartment. Very clean. That's... Wait. Is it in sync or...? I'm not sure. Wait. Nice TV. I never get people that have their house like this because then you can never just lie in your bed, chill, and just look at the TV. You'll always have to look to the side to look at the TV. Isn't that like bad for your neck after a while? It's like, shouldn't you just put the TV... Well, you can't put it there, but wouldn't you then just put the bed here so you can just look straight at the TV? I see the lot in, in living rooms where people have like... Excuse me? Where people have like a couch but then the TV is like off to the side. It's like... Ooh, mom! Love you, mom! Amanda, are you coming home next weekend? Are you coming home next weekend? I've been calling and texting you for two days and you haven't answered. I haven't heard anything from you for two days. Where are you? Are you okay? Please call me. Someone at the door! Um, that's dark. Why is the light out? Okay. Gail, it's me, Martha. Amanda's mother. Do you know where Amanda is? She hasn't answered my phone calls for two days. Please, if you know anything, call me. Oh, do we need to write that down? I'm just in case I'm writing down the phone number. Two five eight four five six four seven eight zero. Should we call her? What is that sound? Is that me in the mirror? Oh, it's the clock. Jesus. Can I turn on the light? No. Well, fuck that bathroom then. Can I call? Hmm. Too dark. Can you stop? Take out the batteries. I would take out the batteries if that were me. Oh, it just wanted me to look at it for a long time. I just thought it was like a bug in the game. Amanda Graham, last seen outside Harvey University, August 23rd, wearing a white tank top and jean shorts. Brown eyes, dark hair, 120 pounds. Contact Martha Graham. Okay, that's the same number. I hear someone crying. Oh, it is kind of like PT.
trying to open it, but... Oh no. Oh no, the bathroom! Oh fuck. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Here it comes. It's a flashlight. Why that sound? Missing student body found. Stabbed by roommate. Holy shit! Killer turned himself into the police. Search for her whereabouts for two weeks. Roommate 25 year old Gail Rogers was arrested after confessing to hiding the body. Body found in crawl space hidden behind false wall inside closet of Mr. <gasps> in the closet! Good friends, I was shocked when I heard the news. Devastated, I should have gone. I should have done something to avoid this. Now my baby's gone. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Ah, Jesus. Can I leave, please? Thanks. Okay. Standing at the end of the hallway, just so you know. <laughs> you can just about see her. That's really loud. Oh my god, that was good. <laughs> that scared the fuck out of me. Oh, the the door is open. Can I like put my flashlight back on? Why am I stuck? Oh. Oh my god. Ooh, this is cool. <laughs> I can't believe how much that scared me just now. <laughs> no fate. What? Did one of the doors open just now? Oh shit. Okay, so it's not that one. In loving man memory, Amanda Graham. I don't know. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Christ. Okay. Gail Rogers sentenced to 25 years in prison. Pleads guilty to murder. Please found Rogers writings. written? readings? Writings raging about society and loneliness. Prosecutor says he was romantically obsessed with Amanda. What is it?
This is fucking awesome. Jesus. Ooh, that's creepy. That's really creepy. Jesus, dude. Oh. Throughout history, people have experienced the supernatural event of a time slip. What is a time slip? A time slip is when a person or group of people travel back in time through supernatural ways, not technological like a time machine. This happens because time is not linear or fixed as we perceive it. Time is fluid but exists within a context of a single point of space. In the year of 1996 in Liverpool, Frank was shopping with his wife and they decided to split up. Frank went to the record store and she went to Dylan's bookshop. As he walks towards the store, a 1950s van with the name Kaplan's on the side crossed in front of him. He saw that Dylan's bookstore now had a Crips signage. The shop was selling women's purses and shoes instead of books. He looked around and everyone around him were all dressed in the fashions from the 1950s, but bizarrely, a young woman walked past him with a popular purse from the 90s, which reassured him that he was somewhat still in 1996. Hmm. Frank followed that woman into the store and the store turns back into a bookstore. She told Frank she too had thought the store was a clothes shop. It was later proven that Crips and Kaplan's were actual local businesses from Liverpool during the 50s. Frank did not only travel back in time, he was standing right between both 1950s and 1996. That's cool. These experiences are real. The universe works in mysterious and inexplicable ways. However, the true cause of time slips remains unknown. That was really cool. That was a cool story. Cool story, bruh. <laughs> well, we're running out of doors. Stop the madness. I'm working on it. <laughs> okay, me, calm down. We're both dead here. One more. The breathing being behind me suddenly, that was the worst one. Oh, it's too quiet. Oh no. Oh, it's open. What is it? I can't do anything. Oh, I can. Oh. Uh huh. Do I need to close it? Hmm. Of course. I'm back at home. Was it all just a nightmare? That's a nice TV, holy shit. Wait, this is a different apartment. Who are we? We look the same.
Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't like this. Oh, I still have a flashlight. <laughs> Hi. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Do you want to turn it off? Is there a remote? Oh. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, that's good. Now what? Oh, bathroom. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck off, dude. No one likes you. Ooh, that's cool. Doctor told me that writing my thoughts is therapeutic and might help with the trauma. How much more can I handle? After losing my daughter to a murderer, which itself is a horrible tragedy, my, hus my husband has been very absent. Daughter's death has been devastating to him and understandably so. I myself feel devastated too. However, I try to move forward in life with him and my son Dylan. Of course, the death of his sister has also affected Dylan gravely, especially for a young 18-year-old boy. But at least I still feel he is around me, unlike my husband. He tries his hardest to still give emotional support to his family. Still, my son's behavior has also changed. I quite don't know how to put it, but something about him seems very different. So this is the mom of the family. Well, bathroom seems normal now. But why would the daughter haunt the mom? I wonder if the dude died in prison or something. And that's why a flash of him showed up just now. Oh, it's an actual... It's moving. Oh. It's just like really short bursts. Oh, hey. I had feared my husband could be back to alcohol addiction. Aside from being absent in our family's life, now he seems to be drow drowning his sorrow sorrows with alcohol like he once used to. This once old habit, which he had overcome a long time ago, a few years after our marriage, now has creeped in again. His family always had a history of depression, alcohol addiction, alcoholism, and other mental illnesses. I am really worried for him. I don't know what to do. He barely talks to me, and when, when we do, it's just arguing. We argue about what happened to Amanda. He gets mad at me because he thinks I'm insane. He doesn't believe me when I say it, when I say something about our daughter's murder wasn't right. I know that somehow she knew she was in trouble. We could have done something to stop it. Oh, nice. Oh. Who was that? This tape looks suspicious. It's too white. It's too bright. So today I found out that my son is doing drugs. I think that that Gale monster not only killed our daughter but killed each one of us. Amanda's death has left a turmoil in this family and I don't know what to do. Unfortunately my son has a lot of his father in him. I tried talking about it with him but he just won't. How much more can I handle? I myself have been depressed ever since Amanda died, but I'm not only I'm not one to channel my depression into substance abuse. That's just not the way I was taught to confront things in life in my house. I try to keep my faith in God and I find some peace within him. I'm the only one here trying to keep this family together from breaking apart. Oof. It's poor family. I can definitely imagine that though. That like the death of uh, someone in the family is so hard on everyone that it kind of tears the family apart. There's one in the back there. Oh. Is that the mom? I 
Sometimes go to Amanda's room and try to find some comfort. Being in her room reminds me of her. I almost feel like she's around here. A few days ago, I swear I saw a figure that looked like Amanda walking down the hall. I also hear mysterious footsteps around the house when I'm alone. It has to be her. Her spirit is following me. Well, maybe it is. Ooh. Scared me. I spoke to my husband about the day I saw Amanda, and of course he thinks I'm insane and delusional. He immediately dismisses any conversation related to Amanda. He's afraid to confront anything related to her. It's almost like he wants to forget about her entirely. We've been discussing a divorce. He says being around the house makes him more depressed. He rented an apartment for himself and I barely see him or talk to him. How much more can I handle of any of this? My boy Dylan is also barely around. His drug addiction has taken a toll on him. God damn, they're slowly just falling apart. Ooh. The door closed on me. Gotta find a way to get out. Um Well that was easy. There's not even a keyhole in there. <laughs> that is cool. What are we doing? Do we hide in the closet? Hmm. What is it? Do you guys see anything? Oh, I thought that was someone in the reflection there. But it's not. Oh. Ooh. Another key. What is it? Oh god. Everything's fucking locked. Ooh! Ooh! That is cool! Was <laughs> that her going to her room? How much longer? Will it ever stop? Stop the madness. What's this key for? The front door? Oh, I got it. Father of murdered roommate commits suicide. So the dad committed suicide. Oh, I had to pick it up. Oh, so creepy, dude. Wait, Ghost of Tomorrow? Yeah, what if it's a dream? Maybe now if she gets out... She can run away from him. It's me, Amy, your friend. Can you read my texts? What's wrong? Can't believe it. It's been two years. I'd never thought I would speak to you again. Not after. What? After what? After you died. <laughs> oh, to be continued. You don't have to continue it though. That was cool. It was cool enough on its own. It's like a little game. I don't feel like you need to expand on it. It wasn't like... Like you know how the assets and the house, the doors and stuff, 
a lot of it has been used before so kind of like when you see that my first my first reaction is like oh one of these games but it was really good the hallway with the doors and then like resetting and then the blood on the doors that was really good ah thank you Bugnari um for linking all the stuff but it definitely was more original than i thought it would be definitely surprised me some good some good scares um that was fun <laughs> um ah oh, fuck i still haven't fixed this oh wait oh i think i can that was it for today Ah, oh, that was good though two pretty good indie horrors the first one was really good and the second one was fun tpdo thank you so much for the four months thank you um thank you everyone for the bits Thank you everyone for the follows. I'm glad you like the indie horror. Um, I'll definitely do more of this where it's just like a day where it's like, you know what? You guys pick whatever you want to see today. We'll play that. That was fun. Jasmine, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you. Thank you everyone for the subs, resubs and gifted subs today. I can't believe we passed 1900 again. That's insane. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all the support. Thank you. And also the merch, people bought merch. Thank you so much. I was gonna, I was gonna try and put it in the credits, but there's no option for it. So I wanted to like add a little snippet that was like these people bought merch during the stream, but there's no option. So unfortunately, um, but it was fucking great. It was really fun. So I'll be recording more for YouTube over the weekend, so I won't stream, but I'll be back on Monday. Um, I do plan on streaming Monday to Friday next week. I updated the schedule everywhere. Um, so lots of streams and I'm thinking Monday, Wednesday, Friday goes to the Tsushima and then Tuesday Animal Crossing or Hog and then whatever doesn't get played on Tuesday we'll do on Thursday. Does that sound good? Cookie Tookie, thank you so much for the sub and Jids as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Don't forget if you're new sub you can join my Discord server. It'll show up in your connection settings if you have Discord and Twitch linked up. Um, but that'll be it for today. I hope everyone has a great weekend. Thank you so much for hanging out and I'll see you guys Monday. Bye bye. See you later. Have a great weekend.